Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Episode One: The New Queen. Once upon a time, there was a young princess. Her name was Snow White. She had white skin, red cheeks, and black hair. Snow White's mother died long ago. So Snow White lived alone with her father. They were very happy together. <laughs> Then one day, the king fell in love. Soon the kingdom had a new queen. And Snow White had a new mother. Snow White tried to play with her new stepmother. Go away! The queen slammed her bedroom door. Alone, the queen looked into her magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall, she asked. Who is the fairest of them all? My lady, the mirror said. You are the fairest woman in the kingdom. <laughs> Years passed, and Snow White grew up. She often walked through the village. She sang songs with children. She gave food to poor people. Everyone loved the young princess. Snow White is so beautiful, a woman said. I wish I could marry her, a man said. <laughs> But the queen didn't like Snow White. She never spent time with the girl. Instead, she talked to her mirror. Mirror, I'm the most beautiful woman, right? My lady, the mirror said, "You are indeed quite fair." But now there's someone more beautiful. <gasps> Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Episode Two, The Hunter. What? The queen shouted at her mirror. Who is more beautiful than I am? Snow White, my lady. The mirror said. The queen was very angry. Everyone says Snow White is so pretty. She's so nice, so perfect. Well, they will stop saying it soon. That night, the queen met a hunter in the village. He carried an axe. The queen whispered in his ear. Then she slipped some gold coins into his hand. The next day, Snow White walked through the village. A stranger grabbed her. Let me go! Snow White cried. It was the hunter. 
He threw Snow White onto a horse. Yeah! He cried as he jumped on. The horse reached a dark forest. Snow White saw black, tangled branches. Then, something else caught her eye. An axe hung from the hunter's belt. Snow White gulped. Please, sir, let me go! I haven't done anything wrong! Tears slipped down her cheeks. The hunter sighed and stopped the horse. <sighs> you poor child, he said. Go, but don't ever return home. The Queen wants you dead. Snow White gasped. <gasps> Why? It doesn't matter, the hunter said. Just go! Snow White disappeared among the trees. Poor Snow White, the hunter thought. She will never survive in this forest. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Episode 3, The Dark Forest. Snow White ran deep into the forest. Branches pulled her hair. Thorns scratched her arms and hands. Snow White climbed over rocks and tree roots. At last, she stopped to rest. How big is this forest? Snow White said. I've walked for hours. Now I'm lost and it's getting late. Dark shadows stretched across the forest floor. A chilly wind shook tree branches. Dead leaves blew through the air. I must find shelter, Snow White said. She looked around. But where? Snap! <gasps> Snow White held her breath. She stared into the darkness. Was the hunter coming back for her? Snow White ran. Branches hit her face. Her foot caught a tree root. Snow White tumbled down a hill. When she sat up, she saw a pair of eyes. A wolf! She thought. Growling, the wolf stepped closer. The wolf looked deep into Snow White's eyes. Suddenly, the wolf's face changed. The wolf wagged its tail and then ran off. That was strange, Snow White thought. As Snow White stood up, she saw something. A faint light twinkled through the trees. Snow White gasped. <gasps> I see a house! Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Episode 4, Seven of Everything. Snow White hurried to the house. She was shivering with cold. A stack of firewood sat by the door. In the window, a candle burned brightly. Snow White bent low to knock on a tiny door. Hello? Is anyone home? She called. Snow White pushed the door open.
A fire crackled in a fireplace. The room felt warm and cozy. There was a long, low table. Hmm, Snow White thought. Seven plates of food, seven forks, seven spoons, and seven mugs. Snow White scratched her head. There's seven of everything, and it's all so small. Seeing the food made Snow White hungry. She ate from a plate. She drank from a mug. Then she moved to the next plate and mug. Snow White made her way around the entire table. Then she yawned. <sighs> I'm so tired. In another room, Snow White found seven small beds. I could sleep forever, she mumbled. She lay down on one of the beds. Ooh, too lumpy, Snow White said. The second bed was too firm. She made her way through all the beds. Finally, Snow White found the perfect bed. She snuggled under the blanket. Then she drifted off to sleep. Thank you.